Hey everyone, don't forget to stay tuned till after the video if you want to find out how to support me or where to follow me on social media. And also, if you like this video and like what I do, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for choosing me, and on with the video. You know, as wild and as loud as folks are about me being wrong and spewing misinformation, I just want to know where I told people not to eat their fruits and vegetables. Literally, it takes two seconds to Google what I have pulled up right here, talking about why you need carbs, proteins, and fat. Also, what's that say? The three main nutrients in a balanced diet are... How dare a fat woman who actually lives in her body and experiences her disordered eating every single day know anything about diets and what we quote should and shouldn't put into our bodies? Because I can guarantee I know a lot fucking more than you. Also, I'm not telling anyone how to eat. It's actually the opposite. So I'm going to say it again because some of y'all missed it. Body doesn't have prejudice with food. Ugh. I'm sorry guys, I just I lost a couple of brain cells on that one. Pfft. Welcome back everybody. Yes, I'm in my hoodie again because this is one of the greatest things one of you ever gave me. I think her name was Lily. And I love it because it's covered in stars and it's huge and it's soft and cuddly and my cats all love it. So whenever I don't feel like getting dolled up, I feel adorable in this, so I wear it, so. Now, that being said, getting that out of the way. I am so sorry, but. Tess Holiday is at it again. She's at it again. Now she is trying to educate people about health. While, if you guys remember, I covered just a few months ago how she loves to have eat a -thon unhealthy things and look what she uh, she got for the Christmas season <laughs> I truly can't believe that I'm recording a video with my hair like this but I thought I would unbox this with you guys and no this was not sent to me I bought it <laughs> okay okay <laughs> this hair is giving like the trailer park that I lived in. <laughs> it's a Christmas treat. Well, my head's too big. I look crazy. Look, it says tree cake hugger. <laughs> you guys. Yes. And I came with all of these. I'm most excited. Look at the earrings. Wow. Stunning. Now I'll admit, the merch itself is cute. But apparently she had been like spending the holiday season trying to get these things. And the amount that she got, like if I even get any of those Christmas tree cakes, I get like one box a season. She had enough to like actually feed the trailer park she's talking about. Okay, and as you saw in the beginning of the video, she's sitting here talking about a balanced diet and how dare, uh, the reason why she was even going off on that was this. I am in the middle of cooking breakfast and I wanted to share something that happened to me last night because hopefully it can help some of y'all. So, someone that cares about me a great deal came over to see me last night and when they came over I wasn't feeling well I was having like low blood sugar all the things all the things that you don't want so anyway very innocent innocently they said to me well have you eaten and I said yeah I had some pizza earlier and they said you need to eat something like a bit more healthy now, there are a few words that I don't allow 
when somebody comes into my house and healthy is one of them. Mostly because I want my children to be raised to trust their bodies and to know what is best for their bodies. So when this person said this to me, I want to share with y'all what I said to them. Your body does not know the difference between a chicken Caesar salad or this. Your body doesn't know the difference. Your body's only job is to break down the protein, fats, and carbs that you put in your body. And that's all you need for a balanced meal. Protein, fats, and carbs. So trust yourself to feed your body. It's your body. If you want what you want, then eat it. And this is no shade to my friend last night. It's just a simple reminder that small words like that, that some of us just throw around flippantly can really be hurtful, especially to those recovering from eating disorders. And during this time of year, it's even harder. Just from what she said alone in the video. She doesn't know what the hell she's talking about, guys. She don't know. Because by her own simple offhand attempt to try and shame anyone for letting her know she doesn't understand healthy food, which we can tell she doesn't. You can see right here, right here on the screen in black and white. This is tested with labs. This is brought in by the FDA and this is tried and true. Intuitive easing eating doesn't work. Tess Holiday doesn't understand food and no one should be listening to her about it. Back to the video. You see, Apparently, Tess feels that the word healthy is just bad. And, you know, children should uh, intuitively know what their body wants. Well, let's see what Tess teaches her children to intuitively eat. Okay. Okay, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it, but I'm pretty sure in one of her TikToks, she was talking about how she had to bring her son to the dentist for his teeth problems. Y'all have to excuse me, I'm a little bit under the weather. And this one had a lot of dental work done yesterday and you did so good, huh? Mm-hmm, you did. It is a mystery why that little boy probably has teeth problems. I can't put my finger on it, but. And so, see, because here's the thing, guys. Yes, carbs are an important part of your diet. But when, as you saw in the video, you're eating bagels and cream cheese and you're starting your day with pizza and that's all you have, there's a reason why you're not feeling good, you're feeling lightheaded, because more than likely you're eating a lot of empty carbs and that's all you're eating, Tess. You're probably only ingesting a lot of carbs all the time. And the thing is, as someone during the pandemic who chose carbs over other things, I 
fucking tell you. When you just eat bread or you just eat bread and cheese, yes, it fills your stomach, but nutritionally, it's not balanced. And again, you're sitting here talking about how you intuitively choose food and how you're intuitively doing this, that, and the other. But I don't know if you've realized this, but you've intuitively, like, and I said it again last year, you've intuitively, like, tripled in size from 2012. Like, And I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be mean, sis, but, but she gets so mad when anyone calls her out for these, like, just horrible choices. And she constantly, like, has the audacity to say, you have no right to say that to me or fat people don't owe you this or fat people don't owe their health when your entire persona is weight and weight issues and the body and food you made your weight the issue do i have a million things that i need to be doing right now absolutely am i sitting outside target with the sweater that i've had on for three days and no bra and i'm gonna go buy stuff i don't need yes you made your weight the subject. You made your health the subject. When you came out as anorexic, you made your weight the subject. You know, a lot of folks ask me why I don't bring up my, uh, my own health journey too much. Because I'm not the subject. I realize that today. I'm not the subject. This isn't about me. This is about helping all of you. I've already woken up. I've already caught on and I'm making the right changes. But it's people like Tess. You know, I am very tempted. I am. You guys have no idea. I said it on uh, Gothics as Locals the other day. I am so tempted to make a TikTok that's not connected to Starson in any way. And like go undercover as like a fat activist and do those fat thirst traps and like massage my belly and all that weird shit they do. And I just want to see how quickly I would get noticed, how quickly everything would change. Because I wonder, I won't, because I do feel at this point it would do more harm than good. I don't know. But I kind of want to try. I want to see. I want to see. Because I feel like this really is a matter of just... She knows what she's doing. She knows she's slowly killing herself. She understands. And then... As if... She's just completely un unaware of herself just lacking any self-awareness she says this i genuinely mean this with every bone in my fat body but the thing that i find most unfortunate for people that don't like big bitches such as myself is what they miss out on by not having folks like us in their life I can't imagine cutting off an entire group of people and just saying, I don't want to get to know you because of how you look or exist in the world. Like, imagine how many blessings I'd be blocking myself from. And honestly, I think that's why half of them are miserable to begin with, because they don't have any fat friends and they're just going around, you know, being miserable and this, that and the other. And frankly, today I found myself feeling kind of bad for them, but then not really, because I have such a great life and I have such an amazing life and I'm so happy and I'm so loved and a lot of these people just aren't, you know? So many people will never understand the vulnerability that it actually takes to look like me and be in my body and talk about the things that I talk about. Imagine living in a world where everyone thinks that they know better than you and that 
Um, everything that you say is constantly weaponized against you. It leaves no space for healing for myself. And I'm constantly assaulted verbally every time I try to put myself out there in a way to help others. And I understand that this is my reality and it will be my reality for probably the rest of my life. Imagine working so hard to do all of the things that you love and have all of your successes diminished constantly because of how you show up in the world. People that claim to love you questioning your validity all the time because they think they know better. And everyone pointing their fingers at me like I'm the bad guy. And I know I'm not. Living in a fat body and constantly being gaslit is exhausting. I thought we didn't reduce people down to their bodies. Because I will tell you what. I know a lot of miserable fat people. Okay? I know a lot of people. I can remember one. It was my old co-worker when I used to work at gas stations. He was a miserable bastard. He was fatter than me. And I couldn't stand to be around him. So, like... I didn't realize people had to pick us out from a shelf test and, oh, that's my token fat person. Yes, I have them around because well, you know how fat people are. Like, girl, girl. <sighs> Guys, if this is your first time watching me, if this is like, you know, you're a common fan that, that's been there from the beginning, don't fall into these traps. I understand that delicious food is easy to eat. I get that. And I get that when you hear like, you know, oh, well, that is a good part of a balanced diet. Sure. It ain't the only part. Carbs are a building block, but what you should be focusing on is proteins, lean meats and healthy proteins, eggs, lean chicken, lean pork, uh, avoiding a lot of heavy oils. If you're going to go for any oils, go for omega-3s. If you're not allergic, obviously, shellfish, fish, and nothing fried, try to go for grilled. Or if you are going to fry it, just put it in a pan with very slight oil. Or, and I know, I know, I roast I roast all the time to my friends, but all jokes aside, go to an air fryer. You know, there is this YouTube channel I found and I didn't realize he got, he got big. He got big real quick, but he makes some really cool um, snacks and they're all healthy. He does ones for bodybuilding and he does ones for meal prepping. And they're honestly, they look delicious. Now they take a little bit to make and they take some work. But uh, he calls it Snack City. What he does is he pre-makes his own processed food. Which, here's the funny thing, right guys? So, I, a couple of months ago, I think right before I went to Vegas, I did a couple of videos about processed food versus making your own food. Because, yes, we can eat the processed food with the understanding that it's healthy, right? However, we do have to also understand that even when we're eating the healthy processed food, still not 100% and that you should learn to make your own. And I showcased it with a just crack an egg and then I showcased it with uh, Kodiak uh, pancakes and um, the Bolt House drinks. And well, so here was the first one. If you're under the impression that all diets fail and that you can't possibly lose weight because losing weight is too hard, Keep in mind that the only reason diets fail is because you jump into it head first without any research. And then here was a comment in it. And I didn't notice it at the time because this was when I was getting stuck between doxing and then TikTok turning off my comments and this, that, and the other. So then I, you know. And... Then finally, today, I did this. Once again, I keep getting people who 
love to sit there and take the tiniest bit of a video and don't think. I even say in the TikTok you commented on, which I only just realized you made. It must have been during the whole people trying to dox me and threaten me shit. Um, I even say in that video, learn to make it yourself. Learn to make your own protein pancakes. Learn to imitate these things. I love them. Also, check the ingredients. It's literally just the meat, cheese, and vegetables. And a little bit of sodium to preserve it. Like, this is not a win, guys. You're mad at me because I'm calling out with logic. And you think because I'm fat, I'm betraying people. It's it's freaking goofy. Because the problem is, a lot of people, they can't decide. Thin people can't say it. Because thin voices don't matter. And say, and a thin person says healthy or anything like that. Well, they're just fat phobic. And they're using their thin privilege and their straight size or whatever, whatever thing we can call them. You know, they can't say anything. But then when a fat person says something, well, that is just internalized fat phobia. And clearly, they're just self-hating, and they don't love themselves. And 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 um, if you bring it up, you're a hypocrite. Even though while you're bringing it all up, you're pointing out the fallacies in the food you're eating, and that you are trying to make it for yourself. The self-awareness that I had on the food I was eating is a self-awareness that Tess lacks. Everything she does, and it truly is tragic to me. That she is a major voice in this entire thing. And that her insanity, it's really sad because she used to seem like a very logical minded and very sane woman. But over the years, I've heard a lot of bad things from people that have known her personally. Um, Now, this is obviously, you know, these are things that are hearsay and, and they can't be proven. But going by how she acts, guys, whenever anybody speaks out against her. I don't know. Here's what I will tell you. Please don't trust your diet from TikTok alone. Please don't trust influencers alone. If you're going to see your recipe and it sounds like there's a little too much sugar, a little too much oil, or a little too much salt, or a little too much fat, it probably is. Do always make sure that you're looking up actual dietitians, talking to your doctor, maybe talking to a personal trainer, you know, doing the proper research, looking up scientific journals. Do not just trust what these people and their insane ideology say, because, and I'm going to cover it soon, we have people dying from these ideals. We have people that are not making it out alive. And that's because the Bopo has convinced them that it's okay. It's okay to eat yourself into oblivion as long as the food is good and your body thinks you're getting it right. But I still want to remind all of you, intuitive eating, if you put it in any other way, is literally just giving in to addiction. Well, my body wants that cocaine. So obviously I should take it. It's intuitive. My body wants that alcohol. Clearly, I should drink it. Intuitive. You get my point. My body wants the water. I should drink it. The point is, one, stay hydrated. And two, stay healthy, guys. I know it's a dirty word. But stay healthy. That's all I have to say, guys. I will see you in the next one. Hey, if you like that video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, help me out with that algorithm. I want to first off thank all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. You help fund me. You help help me do this. Uh, Thank you to Lisa, Emile DeVry, Edie, Anna Mae Chan, Lady Derpy, Chaco Hooligan, Valspara, Amelia, Esteban Laura, Gina Sina, Rox, Pink Dolphin Milk 65, AJ Lare, Becoming a Better Me, Jenny Eller, Selma, Sarah F., Cindy Lowe, and Desert Jack.
Guys, if you want to join my Patreon, it starts as low as a dollar a month. Goes all the way up to 20 whatever else you want to give me. And we have a lot of different good perks. You can get drawings from me. You get uh, patron-exclusive artwork. And I try to get my videos out as early as possible to my patrons, although I have been failing a bit lately. If you like a lot of the merchandise that I wear, please make sure to check out No System. That is nosisnose.com. A lot of my shirts and jewelry do come from there. And here is all of my social media. If you enjoy my artwork, if you enjoy my rants, and if you just enjoy me, you can follow me on all of these different networks. I am like fly poo. I'm everywhere. Don't forget to check out my older videos or my most recent video, which will be right here. And otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have an amazing day. And don't forget to tell the people that are important to you that you love them and to be safe. So, guys, I love you. Be safe. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>